Hello everyone, Jim out here from the Green Dream Project and we are in the middle of, well actually we're toward the end of trench digging. I've been out here digging this trench, Pete's been out here digging this trench. Yesterday we were both out here together working as a team, shoveling, pickaxing and we're finally nearing the end. You probably got a glimpse of this trench if you're watching in the last video but it has been crazy it's been we're digging out 40 feet from the panels over to the shed approximately two feet down it might get a little deeper in some areas but it's about two feet crew over here is curious about what we're digging up pete's over there starting to get into the action how's it going pete it's going good it's going well so if you check out this trench. Yeah, that's a nice looking trench. I want to bring your attention over here because this has been crazy. This is kind of dug out over there a little bit first. And I was kind of thinking like, oh, this, this might not be too bad. But then I started over on this side and it was crazy. Look at the size of these rocks. This is all the stuff we're pulling out of the ground. Even this soil over here, just full of smaller rocks. But I mean, here is a size comparison to my hand to some of these rocks. I mean, it's just, they're huge. <laughs> and so that's what we were dealing with. And then as we moved along, can kind of see that the been getting less rocks, flex rocks in the soil over here. It's generally been a little easier to dig in this area, wouldn't you say, Pete? Oh yeah. Except we've been getting those monsoon rains, and now now this side's kind of muddy. It makes the soil a little heavier, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just kind of heavy, wet clay soil. But we're super close now. We just got maybe five six feet left here and it's already probably even lower than half half of a foot down we just got maybe seven or eight inches left down there and then this trench is done then we start the wiring Hey guys, so now I'm inside the shed. The doors are on, so it's a little darker in here than, than it has been, uh, but we're still getting plenty of light coming through with the window we added and the bottles, but I've started on the wiring uh, and I'm starting with the combiner box because it looked like one of the easier things to start with, but there were some things that I still wasn't sure about, about. I wanted to go over on video just what I did and maybe that'll clear some things up for other people. So the combiner box needs a little bit of, uh, it's not completely set because it's, it's a little bit flexible for whatever different wiring needs a person might want versus like fuses versus breakers. If you're having one positive line out versus two positive lines out, um, but this, uh, this setup's a little straightforward. <clears throat> this right here is the positive bus bar. I had to attach this. I just attached with a little screw here on the back. I just put this part on, screwed it on. Now I got me my positive out all set. 
I wasn't sure how this gets attached to the combiner box, but I guess what happens is you attach each one of the breakers individually to each of the little spokes here. And it depends on how many breakers you're gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna have five strings of positive coming off of these panels, so we're going with five different breakers. And it's just as simple as slipping the breaker onto the positive bus bar. And then tightening that down. I should probably open up the door because there's not a whole lot of light coming in. <laughs> That's a little better. Then I just screw that in. Want to make sure everything is nice and tight. And then I'm ready to go attach this into the combiner box. This is the combiner box I got. It's the Midnight Solar MNP V6. Just to give a little look inside. So this is where I'm going to be attaching the breakers. These are my knockouts. I'm going to be uh, pulling those out to put in my cabling from the solar panels. This will actually be the knockout where I run the wiring to the charge controller. This is my negative bus bar. This is where the wiring will go from the negative, the negative wires from the panels. Those will go here. This is my grounding and then I gotta attach the positive bus bar. Should be pretty straightforward to attach this. I basically pulled all these yellow tabs down. Hook, a hook it up to that bracket. And then just push the tabs in. Okay, so here's the finished product. I got my breakers in. They're attached to the bracket here. This is now the positive bus bar. And this will be where I attach the uh, positive cable coming out of here, going into the charge controller. Not too bad. So to finish getting this combiner box ready, I'm gonna need to remove all of these knockouts because I'm gonna be using them all. All right, so that was pretty much it for the combiner box, getting the combiner box ready. In the next installment, I'll show you how to make the jumpers that the panels connect to the combiner box, and then from there, go to the charge controller. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Please just give this video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe, because there's going to be a lot more to come on the solar. You're going to want to see how it turns out. Definitely share this with a friend. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.